The White House press secretary's job is always a very visible one, but Sean Spicer became a household name. How can it be accurate reporting, Glenn, if... The, can be okay, so, so the, secret, the Secretary of Homeland Security just stood up, and so you're calling him a liar? He set the tone for his relationship with the media on day one, the size of the inauguration crowds, the first example of how he was not going to let facts get in the way of his president's message. This was the largest audience to ever witness an inauguration, period. Spicer's public role has been reduced in recent months, with many of the briefings held off camera and many conducted by his deputy, who was the one who formally announced his departure. I'd like to read a statement from the president on the resignation of Press Secretary Sean Spicer. I am grateful for Sean's work on behalf of my administration and the American people. I wish him continued success as he moves on to pursue new opportunities. Sanders will now take over as press secretary, and she introduced Anthony Scaramucci, who'll be her boss as the new White House communications director. It's believed Spicer resigned because he didn't believe the smooth-talking former Wall Street banker was right for the role. Sean Spicer's resignation again lays bare the divisions inside this White House. Chief strategist Steve Bannon and chief of staff Reince Priebus have in the past been seen as rivals, but on this occasion, it's believed both were opposing the appointment of Scaramucci. Spicer was one of the most recognizable faces in the Trump White House. Those taking over will be in no doubt of the difficulties they face working for a president who doesn't always consult with his team and believes he alone is his own best spokesman. James Bays, Al Jazeera, Washington.